Hello everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. This time it's just finished raining. What I'd like to do is to actually I want to build the refinery. But really the first thing I would like to do is to make a few more um, covers. I'd like to make these facades cobblestone. Actually I really don't want a facade cobblestone do I? Let's just turn that off. Let's make a facade stone. Okay. Quickly down to the workshop. I just want a little bit of stone, don't I? And back up to the front door. And I think I'll try that again. Wrong one. Yes, that's what I want. A stone facade. Let's make one of these. Don't take very long to make. And I get six of those. In fact, they should already be made. Where have they gone to? They get piped and Ah, yes, here we are. There we got put into the integration table. So, what I'd like to do with this is to cover up uh, some Buildcraft pipes um, from the Aubrey farm, which you can see coming down through here. As you can see, the things are coming up and down. Let's just give those a quick cover. And there's another one here. Useful to be able to see them, but sometimes just nice to hide them. Let's turn on the jetpack. And that's one. There we are. You wouldn't know the pipes are even there. So, I must have dropped an Aubrey at some stage when I, I broke a pipe. So what else I've done is I've tidied up these um, these cyclic assemblers. Now they're connected together and should just simply work as one. And we also have everything. Oh dear, no, that's not so good. It's throwing stuff out. I can see. All right, I must have broken something else. I will have to go and fix that. I'll tell you what we'll do. First of all, oops. we'll turn off the. Uh, I must have broken a pipe somewhere along the line here. In fact, what we'll do is we'll turn off this. There should be a gate here. Oops. That's not going to help, is it? Oh, something very strange is going on here. So what I would like to do is to come here. And can I reach this gate? I should be able to reach a gate here. Nope. Let's go down one. Ah, that certainly won't help. Oops, it goes too fast sometimes. Right, let's try and repair this. Right, that's good. Now the next one is the pipe. Let's put that. Okay, let's just set this gate to off. So what will then happen is that items will come in and not get sent out, so we've got time to go and fix those later on. I'm not sure actually why they're coming out, but never mind. And let's just fill in these holes I've made here. I must have put one in the wrong place and blocked off the uh, the pipe, so I'll fix that. So what I'd like to do is to build the refinery. And I'm going to put the refinery right in front of these two machines here. Let's put that there. And it's a five by three structure. And it's three high. Let's go and get the, the bits. I don't want to, I'll put these old bricks away somewhere. I didn't really want those in my... I also need these three components here. So I need light engineering blocks, steel scaffolding and heavy engineering blocks. And what I need to do is to allow enough space for the, for the uh, pipes. So what I'll do is I'll start here, I think. What you have to do is to create two of those. It's a big structure, this one. And then we have 
two more like this. We won't get in there. And then in the middle of those at the ends, we put the heavy engineering blocks. And then we fill at this these gaps here. What am I doing? With light engineering blocks. Better. That's the first row. And then the next row is basically nearly all heavy engineering blocks. The middle, with the middle bit being slightly different. The middle's empty. And there's a light engineering block here. As far as I understand the, the diagrams. And then the next thing, the top layer is, let's just double check. I'm not 100% sure I can read my writing. Okay. Yes, it's all heavy engineering blocks except for one one bit which is empty, I think. So the bottom bit was heavy here, a cross of light engineering blocks and scaffolding around the outside. The second block is one light here, one gap here. In the middle and the rest are heavy engineering blocks and the third one is I think heavy engineering blocks on the sides and that's it okay so, so we want heavy engineering blocks here, here here and here And that should be it. So now let's go and hit this with the engineer's hammer. Now I've got it right. It will turn into a refinery. How about that then? One refinery. And this side. So if we now uh, let's have a look here. Oh, yes, you get the materials coming in, and then they get refined. So we need ethanol and. Um, what was the other one? This is vegetable oil here. Plant oil. So we can feed those into the... Ah. Oh, that's redstone, isn't it? Ah, here we go. We feed those into these pipes. We can feed those uh, into this. Thing. Let's try that for a start. It'll bound to need power. Which we haven't got any at the moment, have we? Let's have a look. I wonder how I can give this some power. Well, I've got an energy, uh, a lead energy cell in this chest here. A nice full one. We have to read the book again. Let's turn the jetpack on just to make sure. So. Let's take this chest, uh, this tank here. In. Let's move these out of the way. We don't need these anymore. And I wonder where we can connect this to. Probably here. Doesn't look like a connection. Maybe I have to use uh, pipes. Okay, let's do that. Let's go and get some pipes. Should have plenty of pipes in the uh, in the chest. What have we got here? Temporal fluid, uh, temperate fluid pipes, perfect. So let's take all but one of those. And maybe we need some servos. I'll take three just in case. I don't think we need anything else. Right. Mm. 
So let's see if we. If, I'm not sure if this is even the right place to put them in. It's only one way to find out, isn't there? Let's put that there. I'm still picking up. Uh, oh, Chris, that's really strange. Both tanks are now going to be f nearly full. So what I can then of course do is to make these, take these temporal plant from here as the output and just connect those through. Let's do that. Oops. Try doing it on the floor. It always works better. I wonder if that works. Looks a bit strange. I assume it's not going to, so let's do it this way. Then, if you want to just right, uh, right click these with that crescent hammer, and that takes away that particular connection. So, with a bit of luck, that will then feed directly into this refinery. I can remove this tank, don't need that anymore. I can probably remove this. Just simply right clicking a, a servo takes it away. Now, let's have a look at this machine again. So that's full, that's full. So all it needs now is some power, I guess. And if it's like the other machine, let me put it on the top. Let's see. Power connections. Maybe this red. This looks a bit like a power connection, doesn't it? What did I do with the energy cell? Okay. There it is. And configuration will be... That's the front. Let's make the back as an output, which will be this one. What's happening now? And sure enough, power's going up. And biodiesel's coming out. Fantastic. Well, the next thing to do, after you've got a biodiesel, of course, is to uh, let's see if we can finish the automation. If the automation's actually working, so let's go. I oh, guess we've got plenty of power at the top. Now let's go upstairs. And we need for that different types of seeds, didn't we? So let's go across to the uh, the farm and get some more seeds. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. Let's farm up to the middle portal to the farm. Oh my goodness, that's already full. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Look at that. 64. Uh, the farm is working again very well. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do here? Put those in there. What I've done with the farm is to reconfigure it to being a a managed farm. And here I created a, a managed ender farm. I don't quite know what that does, but here we've got an albutum, here's some peat bog, here's some crops. And in here I put some ender lily seeds hoping that they would be taken but they haven't been. And as you can see it's very busy. Let's just sort this out, maybe we haven't got much space in this chest. Hmm. Right. Well, what they came for was some seeds. Well, apples will do. I think apples do as well. That was one. And then we need to go. Is it must be night time. Let's have a quick look. I guess it's night time. And there we can see a nice spider wanting to get in. Let's just to shoot him and let's go 
was attacked by another spider temporarily. And it's a lovely day. In fact, I get a lot of thunderstorms in this um, in this place and we're, and we're here. Maybe it would be a good idea to actually build a lightning conductor. So let's go down here. What we need, of course, are these industrial hemp seeds. If we've got some capacity to carry those along. There's a witch as well. Just sort her out. She's usually dropped some interesting things. Let's see, drop this time. Spider. Another spider. There's a recharge it, isn't it? Oop, zombie! I've got some. Oh, two zombies. Let's just sort them out. So we've got plenty of everything now, so let's just back, go down, back downstairs to, to the workshop. And then from here, one floor below to the to these machines. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I can actually put apples in here. Yes. So let's put all these apples, let's put apples in here. And as you can see that's working nicely and let's put into here the hemp seeds and that's working as well ah the biodiesel is already full so let's get this out of here we've got some tanks here we are hardened tanks are good and let's put that into there and that's sure enough is filling up in fact it's already reached more than half the tank good so now the next step what you do with this biodiesel so look here get rid of the spider don't need that i've got some sugar from the witch how exciting is we then need to go and make something to, to do with this thing so what we would need then of course would be uh as you know spin machine tools and machines no power generators so we'd have to build a diesel generator using biodiesel <coughs> and that's quite a, another quite a large structure and in fact this one produces i think 4096 rf per tick so it produces a lot of stuff and it generator blocks lots more heavy engineering blocks radiator blocks Oh, so we have another load of heavy engineering, another that looks like nine. It's another five by three structure. So we need nine radiator blocks. Is it 27? Yes, 27 heavy engineering blocks and 12 radiator blocks. Three, six radiator blocks. Huh? Okay. So that makes a huge that from that. So basically, we can power that generator from this particular machine. Well, there is space in here to do it. Maybe we'll do that for another time. Okay, that's it for now. See you next time.